Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know, if, how are you not surprised by this? <laughs> I guess you shouldn't be if you've been following the channel for a while, but we'll tell you guys a little bit more about this. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce Austin. Uh, this is my friend right here. He actually got the lathe originally and he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Well, we believe it is a uh, late 1920s Seneca Falls uh, lathe, and it is a, what says it again? Uh, it says 11 by 5, 11 by five. Um, so 11 inch swing by 5 foot long bed, and it's in rough shape. Um, the headstock's pretty seized up right now, so that's going to be a big project. Uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say. So obviously right now you can see we have some parts scattered around here. Some of them are out of camera, but uh, some of them you can see. So we have the headstock, obviously. We have the carriage down there. And then we have the aftermarket uh, motor set up over there because it used to be belt driven. Uh, and then obviously some other scattered out parts. So right now we are going to be splitting this video series up into multiple groups to where you can actually see the progress as we go and have more videos on specific things being able to go into more detail so this for example is going to be a whole video and this is going to be a whole video of getting it all up and running so obviously today in the first episode of this series we had to repair the leg because uh, it suffered some severe damage and the leg actually snapped off so we had to re-weld that and then we ended up cleaning the ways up and now they're nice and shiny uh, so that's what you guys will see, as well as seeing how we got it from his house to my house. <laughs> and uh, a little bit of a spoiler, we used a boat. <laughs> so without further ado, we're going to jump into the video. Enjoy. Well, hello <laughs> guys. Uh, this is future, future us. And we're here to tell you, we've, we ran into some Minor pretty... <laughs> pretty sad, pretty sad stuff here. Uh, and while you may be thinking that doesn't really change the fact that this is a restoration video such series, it definitely does. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's some major issues going on in this lathe. Um, as you'll see in future videos, we had some major headstock issues. There's no bearings in this headstock. It's just cast iron on the shaft. And the previous owner... Looks like he didn't oil it whatsoever, so... I don't think he knew what oil was. <laughs> it's either we send it off to a machine shop, or we just clean it up and make it usable again. It's not going to be full restoration, but it'll be usable. So, what exactly that means... The paper towel roll is unrolling. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly that means for the, for the series is... We are not going to do a full and complete perfect restoration. We're going to make it usable, though. We are going to make it 100% usable. We're also not going to trash it, because uh, we respect the machine. Of course. But we're going to go crazy with it, and we're going to do whatever we want to it, because at this point, it's not what it really should be for the amount of work that we should put into it. So... You can either stop watching the series or you can keep watching because I think it's going to get pretty crazy. <laughs> it's going to get fun. So, like I said, boat. Yes, we did pile all of the cast iron and uh, lathe parts into a boat and uh, drive them down the river uh, to my house. It was pretty sketchy. The boat was sinking the entire time, but we ended up making it there. And then here we are loading it onto my brother's car and we carried it down to the building and then here I am grinding the initial V groove into the parts so we can fill them with weld better and the weld would be stronger. This part right here is pretty crucial for cast iron welding. Uh, Preheat is incredibly important so we were just loading heat into it uh, and then here we are with the initial weld. This was the first weld we did with some random uh, stick welding wire. So obviously that didn't work. Cracked almost instantly. Here we are grinding it off, preheating again, and then we're going to go ahead and use 99% nickel uh, TIG welding wire. Uh, this went ahead and worked really well. We just laid it down in the crack and then we went over it and welded it. Um, the person who did all the welding is my brother. Uh, I'll link his Instagram down in the description. 
I'm having this sitting here. That's why, that's why I don't understand. This thing took loads of wire. Uh, definitely not very easy to weld either. I don't know if nickel's touchy to weld in general, but it was not a very easy thing to weld at all. Uh, he did his best. It came out looking pretty good. Um, you know, none of us are professionals here, so that's the final product. I think it looks pretty good for what it is and for never having welded cast iron before. So here we are lifting the lathe out. That thing is so heavy. Uh, and here we are power washing. Um, this just was a very necessary step. Otherwise we would have been scraping and scrubbing by hand for a very long time. Uh, someone eventually at some point used this as a wood lathe. So there was wood in there as well as tons of grease uh, just from the years of its use. Um, just slowly but surely taking some of the other parts off that we forgot and it kind of turned out really well at the end. It doesn't even look like a very accurate plate. Oh, it's definitely not. How is that still on? How is it on there so tight? Wait, hold on, hold on. Take a break. Uh, yeah, if you look at the hole that was drilled through this plate, it's the exact size of the bolt. Oh dear God, wait. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's impressive. How'd they get in there? I don't know. One of life's uh, many great mysteries. I think they, I think they used a hammer. And by a hammer, I mean a wrench. Wedge? They probably did. Oh, I want to do this. <laughs> No, I want, I want a slave. Can I have the lathe? No, you can't have the lathe. Oh gosh. That's why it was so tight. Yeah, imagine. Snap one the for good luck. Bed off. One for good luck. Just like. Okay. Just like an inch. No, hold on. Too much work, but not a bad idea. Seneca Falls uh, in gold lettering. Really? Yes. Are you guys going to go now or not? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this it. one's gold too. How heavy is it? You should totally do gold by it. Oh, but it wouldn't match very well with the guy. Oh, well, you guys don't even have to lift no, it no, up. No, no, no. Yeah, just just, just oh. let it turn. I see, I see, I see. Oh, dude, that's cool. <laughs> I think Jake's like, took all the weight for a second. <laughs> it definitely did. Dude! All the weight. Look at that. It's already so, so service rusty. Dude, look at that. It's standing up without Dude. blocks. The waves look pretty good. That's so cool. Oh, hopefully this, hopefully it caught that. <laughs> I hope it did. Can we sit on looks, the concrete? It looks really good. Yeah, but I mean, that's at an angle. Oh, you mean just, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Just, just on the concrete, so it's not in the... Ready? Let's, let's, let's turn off the ball, just because I don't know how... Well, thanks for watching. This is the end of the first part where we tore down the lathe, um, we cleaned up the bed, the ways, and we welded the leg. Stay tuned for part two. Stay tuned for what? Stay tuned for part two.